Welcome to Learnpedia, the 24 by 7 JE NEAT resource at your fingertips. Now, take a look at this actual JE question and see if you can answer it. If you think you got the answer, post it in the comment section below. To understand the concept behind this question, go ahead and watch this full video. Now we will study space wave propagation. The space waves are the radio waves of very high frequency, 30 megahertz to 300 megahertz, ultra high frequency, 300 megahertz to 3000 megahertz, and microwaves, more than 3000 megahertz. At such high frequency, the sky waves as well as ground waves propagation both fails. So these waves can be transmitted from transmitting antenna to the receiving antenna either directly or after reflection from the ground or the troposphere. The wave propagation is called space wave propagation. Here it is reflected from earth. Here we ground. The ground directly reflected or troposphere. The wave will proceed like this. The space wave propagation is also called as a line of sight propagation. The line of sight distance is the distance between transmitting antenna and the receiving antenna at which they can see each other. The space wave propagation can be utilized for transmitting high frequency TV and FM signals. The space waves are the radio waves of very high frequency 30 megahertz to 300 megahertz ultra high frequency 300 megahertz to 3000 megahertz and microwaves that is more than 3000 megahertz at such high frequencies the sky wave as well as the ground wave propagation both fails so these wave can be transmitted from the transmitter to the receiver antenna either directly or reflecting from the ground or troposphere. The wave propagation is called space wave propagation. These waves can be transmitted from transmitting to receiving antenna either directly or after reflection from the ground or in troposphere. The wave propagation is called space wave propagation. So it's a direct transmission in the space. Space wave propagation is also called line of sight propagation. It is also line of sight propagation. The line of sight is the distance between the transmitting and the receiving antenna at which they can see each other. The space wave propagation can be utilized for transmitting high frequency TV and FM signal. They are used for transmitting high frequency TV and FM signals. Television signal propagation. Frequency range for propagation is 80 MHz to 200 MHz for television signal propagation. Frequency range for propagation is 80 MHz to 200 MHz. Height of transmitting antenna. We have H is equal to D square by 2R. D is distance covered by the signal. R as we know radius of the earth. Area covered a is equal to pi d square or we can also write as 2 pi r h population covered is population density should be given population density into the area area covered this is the television signal propagation next we will study microwave communication microwave communication systems are used for long distance communications since at microwave frequency Electromagnetic wave cannot bend across the obstacles such as the top of the building and mountains etc. It is therefore necessary that microwave transmission is in the line of sight. Due to the curvature of surface of earth, the range of microwave transmission is very small around 50 kilometers. The range of microwave transmission is also limited by the fact that signal gets weaker and weaker as it propagates. However, these problems can be overcome by using repeaters. A repeater is basically an amplifier which amplifies the attenuated signal and then retransmits it at an interval between the transmitter and the receiver. Due to this, the cost of transmission of signal between the two stations increases. The problem faced in the microwave communication system are solved to a large extent by using a geostationary satellite as a communication satellite. 
so microwave communication systems are used for long distance communication so they are used for long distance communication since at microwave frequency electromagnetic waves cannot bend across the obstacle such as the top of the building mountains etc it is therefore necessary that microwave transmission is in line of sight line of sight transmission due to curvature of earth the range of microwave transmission is very small the range of microwave transmission is very small that is nearly around 50 km the range of microwave transmission the range is also limited by the fact that signals gets weaker and weaker as it propagates therefore use of repeater a repeater is basically an amplifier therefore use of repeater which amplifies the attenuated signal and then resends retransmits it due to this the cost of transmission of signal between the two stations increases so we can use large extent geostation satellite as communication satellites which can be used for microwave communication i hope you could answer the question still you can check with the solutions shown here. Found this video useful? Hit the like and share buttons to go ahead and enjoy more such videos. Learnpedia's JE and NEET prep tools contain more than 4,000 videos and over 20,000 questions. These can be accessed online on our website or offline through an SD card or a pen drive. To buy now, visit www.learnpedia.in. You can also experience a free demo of our product before buying.